England would finish here. Palace 5, West Ham 2. Um, someone deserved to get battered by Glasnable, and it happens to be today. And the Hammers, Tristan, welcome back as well, by the way. Yeah, um, glad to be back on here and that, yeah. You know, I hope your recovery's going well. Um, thoughts on the game? Well, West Ham just got hammered by Palace. <laughs> you know, what, what a win. Listen, man, I mean, I thought it was an excellent performance. We were falling up in 30 minutes. Should have been more. Yeah, they, then we gave, gave away a soft goal. It happens. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not really that bothered by it. It was poor defending, but There's rumors that it could have been offside as well. Apparently, apparently the lines yeah. were yeah. I haven't so, seen it back, yeah. but I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not too bothered because we still got another goal. We should have had more. Mateta, you know, could have had a hat trick. Eze should have had a hat trick, you know, but Eze was excellent. Elise was on his best. As, he's back to his best. Sorry, Mateta was my man on the match, putting himself about, showing his quality. I thought Hughes was like the solid, you know, spinal cord within the team and that you know just the composed you know winning every ball tackling well and that you know and um, Wharton was class and that as well controlling the midfield alongside him I thought Edouard did okay when he came on IU um, was good when he came on and that you know took control of the game we won't talk about the other subs and we won't talk about that Dean Henderson howler I don't know if, it, if was that his own goal was that someone else who back it I couldn't tell I think, I think it's gone down as a Mitchell on goal oh. Blame the keeper for that. Mitchell had a good game. He just, it, it was let down by his keeper. But West Ham were awful. They got what they deserve. I know they got knocked out in a week and that. And I thought they'd be a little tired, but they didn't do anything apart from the goal they scored. That other goal we gifted to them, so I'm not going to count that. They didn't do a single thing. They were shocking. That's one of the worst teams I've seen this season at Sellers Park. Just as bad as Burnley, maybe worse. I mean, I think, what were they? Eighth in the table, seventh in the table? Trying to push for the Champions League. What a joke. Champions of Europe, you're having a laugh, honestly. No wonder you got hammered by Glasnevall and that, you know what I'm saying, and Palace. No, uh, no I mean, it was, um, it, it was a class victory, man. We needed a win like that. We needed to win today to mathematically be safe. I'm not sure if we are safe mathematically, but who gives a crap? We're not going down. We're not going to be going up to finish 10th. We're staying where we are. We just need to end the season positively. Back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season. I was at Anfield last week, you know, and I was just seeing that today. Brilliant, man, you know what I mean? Let's hope we can keep it up Wednesday against Newcastle. That'll be a difficult game. I'm not too fast, man, what happens, but as long as we don't lose. But, yeah, man, a brilliant away... Brilliant, sorry, not away day, brilliant home match for once at Sellers Park against West Ham again. It's always got. It's always a lot of goals. It's always, always a lot of goals, man. I love it. As it said, I thought it would be 3-2. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally. It's unbelievable, but, yeah, man. Who was your man of the match? Uh, who did I say? Who did I say? Um, I gave it to Thingy Mateta. Mateta, yeah. Mateta, yeah. Yeah, brilliant, That's man. That's his ninth league Palace. of the season as well. 11 in all competitions as 11 well. 11 in all comps, yeah. yeah. Brilliant season, man. Hopefully he gets more. It's interesting. Pleasure, Rich. Up the Palace. Up the Palace. Eagles.